Okay, I've got really good news for anybody working on uh, Dr. Stifler's uh, SEC project. Uh, he has come up with this uh, near infinity light system that takes the energy coming out of the SEC and recycles it back in on itself. And uh, I've replicated it and it does work. And uh, he's running uh, the one that he showed on 6 volts with uh, 9 LEDs. And uh, one of the LEDs uh, is the positive leg and one's the negative leg. And he's got six on the positive feeding back to the positive on the source. And three on the negative leg uh, feeding back uh, to the negative side. And it does work. And I've run it on different batteries uh, to try it out. And it's a very, very low amp draw. And uh, it is doing what it, exactly what he says it's doing. I'm actually doing this on a 12 volt, little tiny 12 volt here with a, a rheostat to knock the voltage down. But it'll run on 9. It'll run on, uh, this is about 5.5. Um, it's rather versatile depending on how much light you want to get out of it. But I've enhanced, uh, I've enhanced, enhanced the circuit. And this is my enhancement here. And what I've done is I put it on the towers. If you've worked with Dr. Stifler's other experiments, he has these two towers that uh, transmit back and forth to one another. And there's three more LEDs here that are tapped into the center tap on that first tower. The second tower is uh, being run wirelessly uh, be between the transmission of the two right here. Just a couple of LEDs on the receiver side uh, tapped into a block of aluminum as like a synthetic ground and um, this works and I've added one more thing to it but here's the setup right here this is the uh, the SEC 18-1 uh, the transmitter tower with 12 LEDs and uh, over here is the receiver tower with just a couple of LEDs tied into the aluminum block and it runs off of uh, one wire through an um, 80 plug and to light these and this one uh, these six on this side are run by an AV plug um, on the positive and then three more down here are the negative feedback to the source but what I really wanted to show today was the amp draw on this and what he has in mind and I think uh, Dr. Stifler if you're watching this um, I think this is where you want to go with this I hope I'm not on the wrong track but his idea was use a small battery and then use solar to top it off this is a cell phone charger right here it's got a lithium battery a 1500 milliamp or lithium battery and it charges on very low light now look at this green light here that green light is on. I'll turn it around and it'll go off. See it go on and off. This charges up on very low light. And uh, the way this works is if that LED turns red, then the energy is flowing out of the battery. When it turns green, the energy is flowing into it. And I'm just pointing this at the window. This is ambient light coming into my house in the afternoon about 2 o'clock. Let me plug this in here if I can do it with one hand. I'll show you how it works. Okay, there's, there's the system running right now. And that's uh, 12 LEDs. The top three are being fed off the center tap of that tower coil to an AV plug. The other ones are feeding back to this system here. Now, if you notice there, I've got a red light on, which means the energy is flowing out of this unit right now. If I tip this up toward the window, that turns to green. And that, Dr. Stifler, is I think what you're looking at, is something that will run on such a small amount of energy, you can use solar power. Watch this again. I'll turn it back down light goes to red energy is flowing out of it turn it back up to a light source strong enough to make this circuit inside here work and now I've got energy flowing into this system lighting up the lights I've also got lights on this side that are being driven wirelessly
Let me set this up so it stays on here. Okay, there's a green light going on there. Now I'm going to shut these eyes off just by putting my hand in front of this thing. You'll see them go off. Go on, off, on, off. And these are being driven wirelessly. Now, the reason I thought this was something maybe of value is you could put this in between some sort of a wall and probably transmit through the wall. So you could possibly have the transmitter on one side of the wall for mom and dad. Jimmy or Johnny could be in another room in a thin wall in a mud hut and possibly get the energy right on the other side. And uh, I'll just put a piece of paper in here to show you that it, it goes right through. It goes through wood products quite easily. And some of these third world countries, they have such flimsy housing. This might transmit right through a partition wall to the kids' room. thought I'd share that with people. But anyway, Dr. Stifler's uh, device works. It works quite well. This is an 18-1 right here. I've also done this with a 15-3. So my, uh, my suggestion is everybody uh, try this one out. This is a good one. This is Dr. Stifler's Near Infinity Light System.